folks, thanks for joining me today. If you saw my last tutorial, then this will look familiar to you. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I want a nice light background base so that the color that I put on on top is going to really stand out. So I put on a base coat of white, I sponge it off, and then I do a second base coat of white and let it dry before I apply this coat, which is uh, pearl white. Then what I do is I uh, put on the design. So I draw it on with pencil. Um, I do this so that uh, I have some guidelines to follow. I'm not very good at following guidelines, but at least they're there. And whatever I don't follow, I can erase. So that's why I do... Uh, the pencil or if I'm using a dark background I use the General's charcoal pencil but this is just so that I have a guideline something to give me um, sort of like a visual is where I want things but I rarely end up following them I just go with the flow if you will and I end up with my design so what I'm doing is the soul symbol for June which is a fish and if you saw my last one you would have seen the design that I created for that one. Uh, and it was the uh, tribal fish. This one is more realistic and more of a northern species. So um, I saw this uh, on a advertisement for a bait shop. Um, and I just, I thought it was really, really cool. So I took a picture of it and drew it on here and I'm going to make my own rendition of what I saw in there. So instead of doing my normal border that I put on with a gold uh, frame around it, I actually made waves this time. So I just wanted to do it a little bit differently. And uh, the fish that was on the advertisement was green. So I thought, okay, well, what the heck, let's go with green. Um, I don't know many fish that have really pretty colors unless they're tropical and we're talking northern Ontario. Now I am no expert on the types of fish. Uh, I do like to fish but I don't usually keep anything. I just throw them back and whatever but and I don't know the types of fish very well. I know bass and things like that but this one in particular I think is a walleye. So it's got um, a little bit of a lighter color on the belly of the green and then the rest of it's like a darker green. And then I make the fins a little bit brown with some, it's like a, a burnt umber color that goes in with it and I blend it all together. Um, so if this is not a walleye, I do apologize. Um, let's just say it's my my version of a of a walleye <laughs> okay so um basically i put on uh the darker green color and then i put the lighter green that's on the belly and i blend them together with my blending brush now if you uh, don't have a blending brush they're very easy to make you just use one of your old brushes that um, had seen a better life at one time and just cut the bristles off really close to the end of uh, where the metal meets the bristles and then it becomes very stiff and it blends things a lot easier for you. So um, I'm also using my uh, thin brush that uh, I also created. Uh, you could also use other ones that I've used in some of my other tutorials uh, that I purchased from the uh, through Amazon. I've left a link in the description below if you're interested. Uh, they're I think they're makeup brush brushes but they work just as well. Uh, but in this particular instance I'm using a brush that I made. So uh, I learned it actually from Rachel's Rocks. Uh, definitely go check her stuff out. She's got an amazing uh, library of all sorts of different types of paintings. Uh, but yeah, I did learn how to make this type of brush from her. So she does have a tutorial uh, on how to do that. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding on the fins and uh, blend it in with the tail. And I'm just using, like I said, that burnt umber color. Or it's like a brown, light, dark, reddish 
brown I don't know it's it's an odd color anyways and I'm just putting the fins on so uh, then when I with the paint is still wet I throw in a little bit of that light green color and then I blend it all in together and I like to leave a little bit of the darker color on the outside because it makes it like a lining so that's what I was going for and uh, these fish have a lot of fins, so I uh, go and I put on a lot of fins, and uh, hopefully they're in the right spots. Um, but please don't judge me. This was uh, just what I was going from by looking at pictures and from the the bait shop advertisement that I had taken a picture of. So um, it's not meant to be realistic. It's just my version of it. Uh, so then uh, as I blended everything and everything looks good now I'm going to outline everything in black and what this does is it just sort of separates it from the background and I can add the extra detail to it. As I mentioned before that the fish is the June soul symbol and I've already done a tutorial on how to do one that's like a, a tribal kind of fish. Uh, but I wanted to do something like this too because of me being in Northern Ontario. I thought it would be nice to have something like this. Uh, so just to remind you, if you haven't seen uh, the previous video that I have done, um, just to remind you that uh, the June soul symbol being a fish means that you're the carefree spirit of the ocean and all you care about in this life is freedom and having fun. So if you know anybody who is born in June, think of that and see if it meets their personality. So far in this series that I have been doing, everybody that I know that's born in the month that I'm doing and the meaning that's provided, it just, it nails them. It's exactly their personality. So it's quite interesting on um, how these things can kind of you know, um, fit with the people that you know that are born in these particular months. Anyways, um, if you want to go and check out the other video, uh, it is the one that I did prior to this one um, with the same kind of a background. But like I said, it's more of a true, um, a tribal fish that I did. Let me know that you like this video by giving me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you get all of the content that I post. And if you don't want to miss anything, hit that bell because it'll give you notifications every time I post a new video. So right now, as you can see, all these lines are pretty harsh. They're uh, really thick and they're bold and it makes it look kind of like a cartoon, um, which is okay. Uh, this is just my base outline and I will be uh, doing some additional things to it. And you'll see that very shortly. Uh, just to soften up the lines so they're not so dark. But I originally started, and the, I'm going to back up a bit. So remember I said that I don't always follow the guidelines? Well, this is one of those things that I don't follow. So I originally wanted to do like really thin lines uh, to show the um, veins, I guess, in the fins. And I didn't like it. So what I ended up doing was, as you can see right now, is I make the lines really thick at the bottom. And so that way it looks like a really thick outline. And it, only the color that is inside is showing through. And it actually looks so much better. I was so happy that uh, I decided to go with it this way uh, because uh, the other way just wasn't looking great. It was too cartoony for me. Um, it does end up looking like a cartoon in a way, but like a hand-drawn kind of cartoon thing, fish, whatever. Um, but this technique I found worked a lot better. It defined the tail and the separation of the tail so that you have both sides. Um, and it also helped with the fins to make them look like they, um, they did have those, uh, little, pieces of like the veins or whatever they're called. Now this particular fin that I'm working on right now, I made it a little bit too black. So I do go back and I fix it up. I wait for the black to dry and then I reapply the, 
the dark brown color or the burnt umber, whatever it was called, and a little bit of the light green, and I redo it um, because it just, my lines were too thick. And that's the fin that I finally decided that that's the type of fin I was going to do. So anyway, so I continue around uh, working on the fins on the rest of the fish while I'm waiting for that one to dry. Uh, you can also see some more pencil marks there on where his eye is going to be and some of his gills, things like that. And what I didn't know until I started really looking at pictures of this fish is that they've got teeth. So I mean like big teeth, not just little teeth. So I have to put those in too. So that's why his mouth is still uh, white because I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. All the colors that I'm using in this tutorial will be listed in the description below. But that doesn't mean that you have to use the same colors that I'm using. Whatever you have in your stash is totally fine. You don't even have to use green if you don't want to. Make this guy a tropical fish if you want. It doesn't have to be uh, a northern um, a northern type of fish or anything like that. Heck, go with the tropical fish so you can add some really funky colors in there. Um, all it is is that the June soul symbol is a fish. So get creative, be what you want it to be and use your own colors. You don't have to worry about using the same ones that I'm doing. This is just to give you inspiration. I'm not looking for you to copy this. If you want to go ahead, um, you could always slow it down or pause it or whatever you need to do in order to follow along. But just know this is just for your inspiration. Um, and like I said, all the colors will be listed in the description below, as well as I have some really neat links to the Happy, Do Happy Dotting Company, which is the company that I purchased the molds from to make these rocks. And also the, the Dotting Center. They have amazing dotting tools and templates and things like that if you're into, into doing like the mandala type things. Um, definitely go and check them out too. And I have a 10% discount off if you want to make sure you look in the description for the, uh, the discount code. All right, here we go. So I decided how I'm going to do the teeth. So I started with a gum line and then I just make kind of like fat little triangles. And I don't know if I gave him enough or too few. I don't know. It's, he looks mean now because he's got these big jagged big old teeth. Anyway, so I go in with uh, black and I just redefine and thin out some of those thicker lines and uh, make those triangles just a little bit more pointy. Um, and yeah, that's how I did his teeth. And I used the same light green that I used on his belly so that uh, it still ties in with the fish. Now, I hope it's not a disappointment, but I didn't put any bling bling on this stone. What I did end up doing is uh, putting these little white swipes, I guess, on the waves just to give an illusion of the light hitting it uh, instead of doing light bloops or anything like that on this. And I didn't put any bling bling on, but I did put glitter on. I got to have glitter. I've got to have something that's shiny and shimmery. So I didn't use the gold. I didn't use bling bling, but... I am putting on this wonderful um, glaze that's got these sparkles in it that actually change color and it's blue to green um, and I think there's a little bit of gold in there. But just look at the transformation, just putting this glitter paint on and what it does to the fish. It's just, oh, it just looks amazing. All that's left to do is a coat of resin and she's good to go. So remember folks, Life is what you make it, so get creative. Mm -hmm.